Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about collapsing timelines. What does this mean? What this means is that wherever you have been, it's not always a memory of a past life. Some people ask themselves, why can't I remember past lives and other people do? I don't, or I only remember certain things. It has to do with timelines. Timelines are where you've been connected to a time and a place. And this is why some people will feel very familiar with, for example, ancient Roman times, Egyptian, ancient Egypt, ancient India. They'll feel like they just recently had a life in some other country. They'll remember bits and pieces, but you're in the process, everybody is, as a part of this closure, as a part of the shift, to shift out and not keep replaying things. That is a threefold process, actually. So you're collapsing this and you collapse it through your body. Your body is carrying some of those memories, even if you don't remember the details. And that is what really throws people off. I know an awful lot about it. And it caused people a lot of discomfort. It causes your children discomfort. It can cause uh, the people around you discomfort. And sometimes discomfort is putting it mildly. Collapsing timelines also means that you might feel a sense of emptiness or loss. You're missing somehow. That kind of goes with this. Now, there's a reason for it. And this happens through your body because... The twin flame body is your priority now. Your human body is how you anchor that. Your human body has to get itself ready for much more than what it's been capable of in the past. That's also a part of it. That's a part of this collapsing of the timelines. What were you capable of and what are you now capable of? But the first part is... Get it broken up, get rid of it, purge it out. That's when it gets weird for people. So I'm all about helping people through their ascension symptoms, getting the parts of you ready, and getting you two together. Keeping yourselves together and being who you came here to be. Your the human angelic that you are is actually in transit because you've also lived in other times and places on other levels. And even if you don't remember, that is part of the actual sensations that you're feeling. You've been in this process for a really long time and you've been, you know, moving and moving and moving and going through portal after portal whether you realize it or not, like a series of doors. But you may not remember the actual details of it. You will be able to remember things when you're together. But for now, maybe that's not top priority. Getting your body prepped, ready, open, getting things integrated the way you're supposed to is the priority. So there's your human body. And there's the human angelic side of you, which actually lives inside. This is why some people can rub their eyes and see colors and other people don't. What's up with that? Why do some people have certain senses and other people don't? Why do some people have, you know, this rare ability? You could take someone who tastes wines for a living, okay? That's a cool job, isn't it? You just drink wine, but they don't just drink and swill the wine and get buzzed. They have the wine, they smell it, they use their senses and they detect hints of this and hints of that. And that as the angelic, that is a part of what you're capable of doing is having very minute, small things that you're capable of detecting and that you're capable of interpreting and that you're capable of enjoying. So, all these parts of you are in this huge transit right now, out of the old into the new. What are the other parts of you? The heart, this includes your heart chakra, but it also includes the physical heart and your high heart connections. 
Where are your high heart connections? Believe it or not, they're connected to your eyes, to your throat, to your heart, and to many other parts of you. Because we're all about the heart. It's no longer about your lower chakras. In fact, if you're only living for your lower chakras, you're going to find that this is quite the challenge. What are the other parts of you? Your senses, which includes your eyes, your vision. There's two parts to vision. If you say vision, you have to be able to see as you're driving or as you're walking. But it also includes the part of you that sees things in the upper realms in ways that you will be able to do be during your waking hours and not just at night. It includes your dreams. It includes your wishes. It includes the things that you want to create with the life that you want to have. So your senses are a huge part of this. And the next thing is your respiratory system. And this goes doubly so for people that might drink drugs, smoke. It does have an effect on you. So if you've always been prone to upper respiratory conditions like I have, you've had asthma, you've had bronchitis, you've had upper respiratory, you've had sore throat, gland issues, thyroid issues, pay attention to that because I am bringing you the metaphysical aspect and the, what to do about it, which includes what supplements, how do you get rid of things? And there's so much more to know about this and to know about really who you are. Who are you? Who is your twin flame? How do you integrate with each other? And so I have a little demo here for you. I prepared this. This is a little pot of boiling water. Can you see that? Can you see what's on the lid here? Some condensation. How does the masculine integrate inside, inside both men and women. You condense it, it gets cold, it gets, it condenses like this, it's in the liquid form. But if you look at the steam, that's a vapor, that's a vapor. What does a vapor do? A vapor can penetrate, you can smell it in the air, how many of you have actually smelled your twin flame when they're not even around? Only your senses are detecting each other. What about all of this intensity that you're experiencing? Well, isn't your twin similar to being able to be that beautiful aroma that comes to you? that lets you know they're still around, that they're in the air. You can integrate their aroma and their essence. Only you can. That is the magnetism of your heart through the high heart connections. If you're not having some of that, it's time to reach out and get some of the help because I have great, easy stuff to help you. Yes, you have to participate. Yes, I'm capable of helping you get these areas open. Are you very tight here? Are you having some of these things disturb you? Okay, so there are aspects that go with this between being an angelic and being a human. What do we have to deal with right here? When we deal with other people, we deal with our families or we've had to be with people or we've had to marry them. And we're collapsing it now. What comes up? These things come up to disturb people, not on purpose. It comes up because these are the bits and pieces that need you to get rid of them. You're not intended to live this way. You're not intended to be OCD, obsessive. You're not intended to be obsessing and compulsing about certain things. Oh, I've got to run to the internet. Oh, I've got to check on this. That goes along with running and chasing OCD. It can feel very compelling, of course. What about ADD? Okay. What are you paying attention to? What do you need to pay attention to? ADHD. And if this is your children, you don't really want them to continue living like this or being on meds for the rest of their life. 
these have a very strong connection to parts of you that are trying to purge and get rid of this. And it's very confusing because you really wouldn't equate it with the things that you're doing. You have to equate it with those wafty, vaporous sides of us that enable you to do this rather easily. Like where it comes in, the cosmic wind comes in with a scent and aroma that lets you know something. If you're not feeling it, time to get with it. Narcissism, the perennial favorite word that people love to use. And again, I'm going to say this. Not here to live like that either. Nobody is. Not even narcissists. They're, they're going to find someone who loves them because somebody loves them. They are here because somebody loved them. And frankly, someone had an orgasm to make them. So there's love somewhere in the mix somewhere. Because it's all tangled up with everything else, this is what we have to collapse. So how do you scrape this out? How to scrape this out? And what else? Menstrual issues, testosterone issues. You're going to find that a lot of you are finding that you are having some real wonky situations with your body and parts of you that will make themselves known. And you're just saying, what gives with that? I thought I was going to be doing this or that at this time of year. And you're going to find that somehow, some way, there's an answer. I have answers on this and they are in my webinar, which is called The Human Body in Transition. And I also have other things like, how do you let your divine feminine help your divine masculine get up to the heart? How do you use your feminine, even if you're a man or a woman, help the masculine? How do you help the masculine? And how does the masculine then in turn help you? And men go through this stuff too. They have more than just testosterone issues. There's issues with their tissues. There's issues with their hormones. There's issues with their digestion. There's issues with headaches. They too are a part of this. So we need to give up this idea that only, you know, one segment is doing this or only one is doing this. There are two people, two people that need to match up because they've always loved each other. And now is the time where this is a grand opportunity to get rid of some of this stuff and get it adjusted. And I'm going to just give you my own personal um, situation with it. As I was collapsing my timelines, I actually healed both the masculine side of me from lives where I'd been a male and the feminine sides of me when I had been a female. And that included pregnancies, that included ectopic pregnancies, that included um, other things, which in this life have been my thyroid issues, polycystic ovarian, heavy uh, uterine tissues, hormonal imbalance. And finally, as I got rid of the damn thing, it, that too wound down in a very strange way. And you need the guidance that I have in order for this to normalize. When I had my memories of being a male and things all of the times when my privates had been hacked, circumcised, I walked around for a week with an ice pack on that area. And it's not fun and it's not pretty. And it's a real thing. It is something that actually feels real to the person experiencing it. It's not something that you have to publicize and tell everybody about. But sometimes it's good to check with your doctor, make sure. And when you are sensing it is a metaphysical thing, please reach out, have a session with me. And get my webinar called The Human Body in Transition, which talks about the parts of you that are actually transiting out of an old level. So I healed those. I have the guidance. I wrote it down. I also want to let you know that I generally most days feel like someone who is firmly rid of this 
and I feel most days like I'm 28 to 30 years old. So just imagine having the energy of a youthful person and not having to deal with the pain. How's that sound? How about if you're a younger person and you're going through these things and it's weird and you're getting alarmed and you're wondering if you can have a child? Would you like to find some balance with that? So in this webinar, I recommend herbs. Um, you should always check if those have any interactions. You can reach out to me. I do have uh, recommendations for you and, of course, some other channel opening. There are new parts of you trying to get in place, and that is the top priority. The top priority is sometimes not what we want with our head, but where the heart is positioning you. So thank you so much. I know this is intense. I am here to help. Reach out to me at twinflamebody at gmail.com. The links are below. Check the links are below. And I am Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. And I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.